of the topics I'm going to teach today. I'm going to give a quick intro. I know we have a lot of new ladies in here, so I'm going to give a quick intro of who the heck I am. Yes, please say good morning as you're coming on. Please say hello so we can know who's here because we love chatting with you. Jessica, IGC's lead trainer, is in the comments right now, and she'll be responding so I can stay focused on content versus, you know, squirreling at all the comments. So my name is Kristen De La Garza. I'm the owner and CEO of Iron Goddess Coaching. Uh, I've been a personal trainer for about 11 years now. I have my bachelor's degree in exercise sports science, my master's degree in international business. Uh, let's see, so I'm a certified personal trainer, certified performance nutritionist, certified corrective exercise specialist, which just means I help you heal past injury. And of course, we always make sure that you're not getting future injury right through the training programs. Um, I was active duty military as an officer for about four and a half years. They destroyed my character and built it back up. I'm very grateful for that. Um, and then today, I'm going to talk a lot about mindset and neuroscience. And it's something that I've been like specifically putting into practice for about seven years now. Mindset University is a program that we are just launching. And it is a program that I have been working on for two years. And it's finally here. So I've had a lot of coffee. I am so excited. OK, I'm so excited. So first, I'm going to talk about macros. We're going to talk a little bit different than we normally do at our events. Like even last event, we talked about how do you know if you're eating the right macros? How do you know, you know, if those macros are right for you? How do you know when you need to change all kinds of stuff? And that's great. And we will talk about that in future events. By the way, next event is December 27th and 28th. Okay, so definitely mark your calendar. It's going to be a quick one and a half day event. Today, I really want to help you guys take away the fear of carbohydrate. 
I want you to better understand the science of what the macronutrients are, what their purpose is in your body, in your training, in fat loss, so you can just have a more educated understanding of carbs and fats and all that versus what social media is telling you, okay? Okay, drop a one if you are like, I don't want to eat carb. I'm slightly terrified of gaining weight if I eat carb. Like, no shame. Okay, we're here to learn. But drop a one if you have any fear towards carb. Drop a two if you're like, I'm good to go. High carbs all day. Love carbs. No issues in the slightest. Like, I'm rocking and rolling. Whoever just said carbs are needed and delicious, what, what? Yes. You may be a client. It's not giving me names, it's just a Facebook user. <laughs> so I'll let you guys roll those in. Jess, of course, is gonna man that, so I will do my best to not be distracted, um, but I am a human, so. Okay, so I'm just checking my notes here, where I am at, cool. Okay, I'm gonna roll right into this because of the depth of information I have to share about mindset and neuroscience. It is a huge topic to teach on, so I can really only give you surface level uh, teaching today because I'm limited on time, okay? So I'm probably gonna spend about 30 minutes or so on nutrition, and then I'm going right into mindset, okay? I'm like, I can barely contain my excitement, seriously. You'll see why. Okay, carbs roll. We're gonna go right into carbs. Carbohydrate, yes, you can be in between. You can feel pretty good on carb, or you can feel a little bit scared, but in reality, that means that you're afraid of carb. Okay. And that's totally fine. I'm here to help you take care of that today. Okay. All right. Carbs roll in the brain and body. Carbohydrates are not essential. Wait, what? You're telling me to eat carb. Yes, I am. Are they essential for life? No, because your body can take protein and convert it into glucose in a process called gluconeogenesis, okay? Meaning if you're not eating enough carbohydrate, your body will pull from protein and convert it to glucose. Now, a few things on this. If you're eating enough carbohydrate, your body doesn't have to pull from protein. That's ideal. And I'll explain what protein does for you in just a moment. Here's the thing. Most people are not eating enough protein in general. So now, if you're not eating enough protein and you're not eating enough carbohydrate, your body's taking from all the protein you have and converting it into glucose. Okay, why is that a bad thing? When your body doesn't have enough protein, it breaks down your muscle. It breaks down your muscle. I can almost guarantee probably at least nine out of 10 of you ladies lift weights. Why do we lift weights? To be strong, to be fit, to be healthy, to grow muscle, and to love our bodies. Okay, you're trying to grow muscle, but you're not eating enough protein and carbohydrates, so now you're weightlifting and your body's taken away from your muscle. That makes no sense, right? Common sense that makes no freaking sense at all, okay? So quick takeaways, eat enough protein, eat enough carbohydrate. <laughs> okay, now, I'm gonna get back to that. I, I want to explain a little bit more detail of carbohydrates roles in the body, what we use carbohydrate for, and then I will go back to this protein breakdown, okay? All right. Now, let's think common sense. Fruits and vegetables. What macro are they? What macro are they? Please drop in the chat. What macro, macronutrient, are, car are, are carbs and fat? Are uh, vegetables and fruit. Food items that give us nutrition micros, right? Vitamins and minerals. Foods that are essential for healthy living. Bam, they're carbohydrate. So you're telling me that a diet, I'm talking keto, that takes away your ability to eat an effect, a healthy amount of fruits and vegetables is, is good? Crazy. That's freaking crazy. Just thinking common sense, okay? Now, fiber. Fiber also is under carbohydrate. If you're not eating enough carbohydrate, you're not eating enough fiber. I'm telling you that right now. Most of our ladies eat over 120 grams of carbohydrate and some of them still struggle to hit fiber and we are like strategically helping them find quality sources to hit fiber. So if you are not strategically and thoughtfully finding fiber and eating enough carbohydrate, most likely you're not eating enough fiber. Why is fiber important? 
it helps us stay full. That's one thing. It helps us stay full. It helps us, it helps to prevent overeating. Okay, that's a huge thing. Fiber plays a role in lowering cholesterol and helps regulate blood sugar levels. Those are really vital things that we need that we cannot have without eating enough carbohydrate, okay? This, we're not even talking about weightlifting yet. This is general health. So if you are, well, and I will say this, is it possible to grow muscle mass without carbohydrate? Sure. So inefficient, so inefficient, so slow because Carbohydrate is your body's primary fuel source, your primary fuel source. So if you're not feeding your body with the energy source it needs to grow muscle, because just as a reminder, protein uh, maintains muscle, carbohydrate grows muscle. Muscle retention is protein. Muscle growth is carbohydrate, okay? So if you're not eating enough carbohydrate, how can you expect your muscles to grow? You can't. You can't really. They might grow a little because you're putting resistance on them, but it's so dreadfully slow and you'll probably feel like crap. In the meantime, you're not going to have enough energy for your lift. So you're not going to get enough out of your lift. It's a mess. It's a total mess. Okay. Now, if you are not eating enough carbohydrate and fiber, you are also disrupting your gut health. When your gut health is disrupted, your fat loss is slower you have issues with fat loss. Wait, are you telling me that if I don't eat enough carbohydrate, I won't lose fat as efficiently? You betcha I am. You betcha I am. So when social media is like, stop eating carbohydrate because it's causing you to gain fat, it's like, no, it's not. It is the overeating of food (laughs) that's causing you to gain fat. Food, you can overeat protein, okay? Quick side note on a uh, research study that I talked about last event. Take two groups, one over eight fat, one over eight carb. Those who over eight fat gained more body fat than those who over eight carb. That tells you right there, if there'd be a fat diet out there, it should be no fat. And actually that was a fat diet, but now it's no carb. It's, It's crazy, okay? We need the balance because every macro serves a very vital role. Okay, awesome. Now, one other thing. If you're not eating enough carbohydrate, you're not allowing your body to properly regulate your blood sugar, which can cause insulin resistance. That is the opposite of what we want. We want health, vitality, and sustainability. We want to heal and take care of any metabolic disorders and any issues that can cause disease. Let's fix it through nutrition. Don't cause more. Don't cause more by avoiding carbohydrate, okay? Cool. All right, carbohydrates role in weight training. I already said this, you can grow muscle in the absence of carbohydrate, but it's exceptionally inefficient. Now, we talk, Jessica talked a little bit about this yesterday in terms of a complex carb and a simple carb. What classifies a carbohydrate to be complex? Fiber, that's it. How many grams of fiber per grams of carbohydrate? Um, last I know the FDA said it's a five to one ratio. I like to do a four to one ratio. So example, if there's 20 grams of carbohydrate and there's five grams of fiber or four, that makes it a complex carbohydrate. Okay. Glycemic index is another way to understand what classifies a higher quality carbohydrate. So if the glycemic index is a hundred, basically as readily available as glucose, so your body takes it, burns it, takes it, burns it, like instantly readily available. It's a simple carbohydrate because fiber makes it more complex, which makes it slower to digest. This is why I was telling Tara yesterday, she was saying, I want the high fiber cereal after lift. And I was like, no, no, you should have the lower fiber cereal post lift because of how readily available the energy will be to just start packing on muscle mass instead of your body being depleted of glucose post lift, because carbohydrate is the energy source we use during lifting. Tangent, fat is the energy source we use during marathon running. Long distance, long distance. 
That is why so many CrossFit athletes end up in the hospital who are doing keto because they're fueling their body with the opposite source that they're burning. It is idiotic. I'm so sorry to be so blunt. It's idiotic. Might not be their fault, right? Lack of education out there, but it's horrible and they're really hurting themselves. It also creates metabolic inflexibility. Teaching your body, when you don't eat carb, you teach your body how to no longer process carb as an energy source. So when you bring it back into your diet, because it's not sustainable to avoid carb forever, look at our world, look at our society, right? We enjoy culture and life and food and all the things. There's carbs everywhere. When you teach your body how to no longer utilize carbohydrate as an energy source, it's like, I don't know what this is, store this back. This is why so many people gain so much weight back post keto because they've taught their body to essentially have a metabolic disorder. It's horrible. And then we have to go back and fix all the damage they've done. And it, keto digs you in a hole. Keto digs you in a flipping hole. Okay. Women who have an endomorph type of body style, who essentially have a lot more weight in their hips, usually a lot more overweight, they do better processing fat over carb. So their diet will be higher fat than someone who is a mesomorph or an ectomorph naturally, which is a lot of those women have success on keto, but it's too far of an extreme. Okay. We need those fruits and vegetables and fiber and nutrients. Okay. We should never be taking them out like that for long-term health. Okay. Cool. 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 Okay. I want to just give you uh, a few key points. What happens when you don't eat enough carb and you're working out? Your concentration suffers. You feel lethargic. You have brain fog. Your body most likely is pulling, uh, is converting protein into glucose. So it's pulling out of your muscle mass. So another tangent real quick. Think about keto when they're not eating any carbohydrate, usually not eating enough protein because of the poor sources that keto promotes like bacon and pork and all this other crap that doesn't give you high enough protein for those sources to fit in your calories. Okay. So now you're like, Oh my God, look at this scale. I've lost 20 pounds. It's like, how much is muscle mass? You're in the gym and you're weightlifting, but you're losing muscle mass. It's crazy. You're losing muscle mass. The more muscle mass you have, the more beautiful you look as you age. Excuse me. Apologize for that. The more beautiful you look when you age, the stronger you are as you age. You can keep up with your children, your grandchildren. You don't have to worry about falls. You can, your quality of life is exceptionally higher when you're strong and functional. Okay. If you don't have that muscle mass, something in your life is going to suffer because you will have so many physical limitations. So let's not do that. You'll feel lethargic. You'll have headaches. Um, you're not growing your muscle efficiently, like I just said, and you'll be creating insulin resistance. By avoiding carbohydrate, you can easily create insulin resistance. Okay. Help. <laughs> okay. Proteins roll, right? Building blocks of muscle. So it helps retain muscle mass, especially in a deficit. We want higher protein, especially in a deficit to maintain the muscle mass you currently have. Prevents muscle catabolism, which is muscle breakdown. So again, enough protein prevents your muscle from breaking down, especially when you have enough carb, because now it's just packing on muscle, packing on muscle. Okay. It is essential for the body to function normally and healthily. You have to have enough protein for that to happen. Now, if you don't have enough carb and you don't have enough protein, it's pulling from your muscle, right? What happens when you don't have any more muscle mass to pull from? It pulls from your organs and then you die. <laughs> that's, that's really bad. Okay. How do we determine, not talking macros, let's talk the science way, the science side for a minute. How do we know how quality a protein source is? Okay. For macros, yes, we want it cleaner. We want less fat. We want like egg whites, you know, pr whey protein, chicken, breast, that type of stuff. Chicken thighs, beef, salmon, all that is really wonderful too. Work it in your macros. Okay, that's the only thing. We want all the variety, but you need to work that amount of fat into your macros. Okay. All right. But how do we determine the high quality protein source outside of macros? It's bioavailability. How much of that protein can your body actually utilize? That's what we're looking at, okay? 
yeah, how efficient the body utilizes protein consumed in the diet. Now, fun fact. Oh, here, let me tell you this. A food with a high bioavailability has all the amino acids, nine essential that we need to eat. There are 11 essential amino acids that the body can create, okay? So a food with a high bioavailability has a high level of the nine essential amino acids that your body cannot synthesize. Okay, fun fact, animal protein has more amino acids and a higher bioavailability than vegetable or plant-based protein. When it comes to body composition, animal protein is far superior than plant protein because of the bioavailability and because of how much protein your body can actually use from that food source. It's crazy, right? If you were like vegetarian, I know sometimes meat can cause inflammation because of the crap they're putting in it now, but I'm just letting you know, really the root, the um, structure of the protein, animal protein is far superior. Amino acids are responsible for triggering muscle protein synthesis. So if you take someone who eats only plant protein and you take someone who eats only muscle protein, muscle protein, animal protein, plant protein, animal protein, the person who eats animal protein will have more success gaining and retaining muscle mass than the person with plant protein because the plant protein is so incomplete when talking about those amino acids. Vegan sources are far inferior, far inferior. Same with muscle repair. You need those, it's part of protein, muscle protein synthesis, but you need those amino acids to help repair. I always point at my shoulders because I like big shoulders, but you need those to repair muscle tissue, those amino acids, okay? BCA, supplementing with BCAAs is not gonna give you the same effect as if you eat animal protein, okay? Let's just make that clear real quick. Okay, now putting the body in a calorie deficit triggers catabolism, breakdown, right? We're breaking down fat. Oftentimes going in a calorie deficit can cause muscle breakdown. So how do we avoid that as much as possible so the body says, you know what? I'm gonna catabolize fat instead of protein adequate amount of protein for your body, your lifestyle, where you're at, all of that, and adequate amount of carbohydrate, okay? All right, yes, the best, this is what I said, the best dietary intervention we have at our disposal is to eating ample, is by eating ample protein. This will, oh, this is fun. This will also increase the thermic effect of eating, okay? So our body, burns X amount of calories, eating protein, eating carbohydrate, eating fat, fat is sometimes zero. Zero, isn't that crazy? If I recall correctly, these numbers off the top of my head, I did not uh, relook at the research before this. We talked about it last of it. Just please correct me if I'm wrong. I wanna say that um, I think protein is 20 or 13%. Um, carbohydrate I think is five to 10 and fat is zero thermic effect of eating. So you're burning more calories as you eat it. So the more protein you eat, if you had all the macros and you're eating higher protein, you're burning more calories, even by eating the same amount of food because of how much, how many calories and energy it takes to digest protein. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about fat. Now, I wanna say one thing. Fat is really important for hormone regulation. It's important for reproductive health. It helps keep us warm. Fat has really great purposes. It's the body's secondary energy source. So carb is primary energy source. Fat is secondary energy source. Protein is third, okay? Keto forces protein to be in the beginning because it's causing you to break down your protein, or excuse me, break down your muscle to get glucose. It's crazy. So people are like, I'm burning fat. It's like, no, actually you're not. You're burning your muscle first. So good job. Okay. Sorry. Sometimes from the military, the bluntness is real with me. So I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. Now the majority of dietary fat should come from monosaturated fats. This is olive oil, coconut oil, 
uh, avocado, sunflower oil, peanut butter, most nuts, like sesame oil, really healthy sources of fat that we want to have in our diet, okay, versus like bacon, okay. Now, carbohydrate is a short-term energy source, which is why we need it for weightlifting, for HIIT training, for sprinting, for all of that, because your body needs instant energy versus when you're running, let's say, let's say a half marathon or longer, when you're running, you need sustained energy because it's not like you're going to stop in the middle of your run and eat, right? So we need sustained energy. Fat, because of its complexity, takes longer to break down than carbohydrate. Fat has double the amount of calories, gram for gram, than carb, okay? So let me just say that again. So carbohydrate has four calories per gram. Fat has nine calories per gram. So it's giving you a much more sustained energy throughout the day because it takes so much longer to break down. It's so complex in our bodies. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm just gonna keep cruising, you guys. I can't wait to get this mindset. Okay, alcohol. Let's talk about alcohol really quick. Now, I really enjoy wine. I will never tell my clients to cut alcohol unless it becomes a problem. We fully understand it's important for a balanced lifestyle. It's enjoyable, social gatherings, all the things. Um, and I drink red wine all the time. I really like it. I fit it into my macros, okay? But I want to tell you this. One, I'm in maintenance, so it's a little bit different. I have more space to play, okay? But two, our body has no ability to store macro, to store alcohol, excuse me. Alcohol is a macronutrient, protein, carb, fat, and alcohol. They're all macros. But we have no biological need for alcohol, so it is prioritized when your body's metabolizing. What does that mean? When you're drinking alcohol and you're eating a meal, your body is not burning your meal as energy. Your body first is metabolizing all the alcohol before it, it will even start breaking down that food for energy, before it will start metabolizing that food for energy. So if your goal is fat loss, be cautious of this, okay? Be cautious of this because it can cause a problem because we want to be burning carbs and fat versus them just kind of sitting there waiting for all the alcohol to be metabolized. Okay, bam, moving on. <laughs> oh my God, it's already been 25 minutes. Okay, now manipulating body weight. Energy balance is the fundamental tool for manipulating body weight. Calories in, calories out. The fundamental tool. Macros, having the right macros for you determines how you will feel in the process. It determines how much muscle you gain. It determines how much actual fat is lost versus muscle, fat, water weight, all of that. When we have the right macros and calories for our body, we have been put in a position to thrive. We've been put in the best position to shed body fat, maintain, and hopefully grow lean muscle mass, okay? It's very, very, very important. It's physically impossible to gain fat or gain weight in a deficit. So if you're like, I'm not eating enough and I'm gaining weight, that's just not true. You're eating more than you think. It's really easy. Even if you're like, I barely eat, it's like, mm, how dense are the calories that you're eating? I can eat 1,500 calories in one sitting. Easy. Easy. A perfect bar, you know those perfect bars? They're tiny. It's like 350 calories or something like that. It's a lot of calories, okay, for one thing and a lot of fat. Okay. Now, oh, yeah, apart from increased fluid retention. So if the scale is saying more, it could be uh, increased fluid retention. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Just went through all of that. Oh, my God, you guys, listen to this. It has been shown and proven that a person can lose muscle tissue even in a calorie surplus. What? But I'm in a growth phase. I'm in a bulk phase. I'm growing muscle because I'm eating more than I need. Doesn't matter. You have to have the right macros. You have to have enough protein and honestly enough carbohydrate for your body to be packing on that muscle mass and not be pulling from your muscle tissue. You could be eating 5,000 calories a day if you're not eating enough protein or carb 
your body's going to pull from your muscle tissue. What a waste. So now we're just gaining fat and we're not even gaining muscle. Let's avoid that. <laughs> okay. Now, this is so important, you guys. And I'm just going to straight up read it. By setting fat, carbon, protein targets that suit for us, our clients' needs, right? That suit your guys' metabolism and desired outcome, we can make or break your ability to comply with the energy balance we've set. Let me say that again. By setting macros that suit your metabolism and desired outcome, we can make or break your compliance and results. What? Wait a second. I have to understand my metabolism to make sure I'm smashing the right macros? You betcha which is why it's so vital to hire trainers or nutritionists or whoever that really understands you, that understands the human body, that understands nutrition, that understands your goal, that understands metabolic disorders, that understands reverse dieting, that understands how to take you where you are, fix all the damage in between, and get you on the other side in a healthy and sustainable way. Okay, that's why a lot of people feel frustrated because they're not, there's so many aspects they're not taking into account. They're just like, macros we're good it's like both feet <laughs> okay no two people have the same nutrition impossible no two people have the same nutrition impossible because you're so unique you're so different you have different needs different metabolism health different everything this is why noom macros incorporated and even the calculator that i developed for a lot of you guys that i'm sure you've had it it will only take you so far because it's it's generalized for the public. It is not laser specific to one individual. So it's great. It can get you a result. It will plateau you. That's why our clients do not plateau because it's it's constant changing based on what they need, right? So they don't have to worry about it. They're just like sitting back like, okay, we good, we good. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're almost on the mindset side. One more thing. <laughs> All right, we need to talk about oxidation, okay? It's just a chemical process that happens in the body, but some people are fast oxidizers, some people are slow oxidizers, okay? The way you know what you are is by biofeedback. What in the world is biofeedback? Measurements, how you feel, energy, mood, basically your result that we collect or, or you collect or whoever collects, okay? When a client has a high rate of oxidation, we have to give them slower energy release sources, i.e. higher fat versus higher carbohydrate, okay? Like I said, yeah, the high complexity of fat molecules counterbalances the rapid rate, so it's just like, oops, gosh, you guys, I'm sorry, I closed all of these things. Anyway, so we have to know are you a fast or a slow oxidizer so we can give you the proper macronutrient? Otherwise, you will feel tired. You will feel lethargic. You might feel a little bit cranky. You might not have enough energy in the gym. That is a great indicator saying that you are not on the right macros, but it goes deeper than just energy. It's like, whoa, this could be an issue. Why? If your nutrition is not counterbalancing the type of oxidator you are, you could be creating free radicals in your body, which leads to disease. What? Seriously, seriously, it goes so much deeper than macros and weight loss. It's like, no, wait, like your nutrition can actually cause, prevent, and heal disease. So when you're avoiding carbohydrate, you are creating disease in your body. You are creating disorder in your body because of all the symptoms and chaos it's creating by avoiding those essential macros. Now, people, I, I want to actually say this that I should have said in the beginning. Fat, high fat diets, low, 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 low carb, high fat diets are perfect for people who are starving, who have no access to food, who just need energy to sustain themselves. Are we those people? We have an abundance of food. We have an abundance, so we don't need to be doing that to our body, okay? Cool. Yeah, here's another thing. Um, if energy crashes, if it, you struggle to recover, that type of thing, it's a good clue that your nutrition needs to change because of the type of oxidator that you are. 
Okay, we're going to New Mexico University. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever taught this to the public in my whole life. It like fitness and nutrition is my passion, you guys. I love it. I've been doing it for over a decade. It is my love. I will do it for the rest of my life. Mindset is more, more. I, I might cry. I thought I might cry. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, let me take a drink. Control myself. <laughs> because this. We can be so healthy in our nutrition. We can be so healthy in our fitness. We can be healthy with, with yes, stress release. We can be healthy with organization. If we do not have, oh my God, I will pull it together. If we do not have our mind right, we will, we will, I don't want to say we will die, but it's like we will live a defeated life. We, we are not designed to live that way. Okay. I am a crier. Okay. <laughs> no shame, but it's so important. Okay. Deep breath. Okay. Thank you ladies for your patience here. <laughs> okay. What are your problems? You're a victim to your thoughts because you don't know how to regulate them because you don't have tools to understand thought life. You don't have the tools to understand what thoughts should I own? How do, how do I manage them? How do I take them? When we don't have those tools, our life is so chaotic and so frustrating and so up and down, right? Or change them, right? We want you to not change them. Okay. What is preventing you from achieving any goal you set and living happier and a more fulfilled lifestyle? Mindset of defeat, owning every thought that comes in your mind as if it were your own. I'll talk about that. Talking the problem rather than the solution. We want to vent. We want to talk. But I'll show you how talking the problem is actually working against you in ways that you may not realize. If you already have a super wonderful, fulfilled life, I'll show you how to take it even further. I really will. I will show you how to take it further. I want to remind you, this is an immensely dense topic. I have quite a short time. I'm going to give you as much info as I can. We're gonna talk about neuroscience to give you a scientific foundation of what I'm about to talk about. I am going to incorporate this to the word of God, the Bible. I have to, because without talking that spiritual side, I, would, I wouldn't be giving you guys a full picture. You'd be missing a whole piece. And so I'm gonna talk about both. And then I'm gonna talk about how you can apply it and take action today to take more control of your thoughts, okay? It's gonna be awesome. Okay, the outcome I want you to have today on this call Understand the depth, seriousness, and power of your speech and your thoughts, the power that you really have over your life, okay? This program will, will pull women out of depression, pull women out of anxiety, pull women out of defeat, pull women out of frustration, and create extreme mental resiliency, extreme. It is an entire new way of living. But it takes time, just like weightlifting. If you go into the gym, you're like, yeah, smashing this workout, day one. And then you're like, I'm good to go. Day one was good, right? It doesn't work like that. This is the same thing. It's not comfortable. It is not comfortable because you're digging up trauma and healing it and healing it and healing it and then taking yourself further. It's not comfortable, just like weightlifting. But boy, oh boy, is it worth it? Just like weightlifting, just like proper nutrition. It's the same thing. It takes practice and consistency, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you a couple of actionables as well. All right, ladies, take a drink of my coffee. Whoever just said you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable, gold, golden nugget, golden nugget. Okay. Now, we are going to talk about what your thought life, so thinking, I'm going to refer to it as thought life what your thought life physically does to your brain, which you can see on brain scans. You can see these changes that are happening with what I'm about to teach you on brain scans. Okay, now we are constantly thinking, feeling, choosing, thinking, feeling, choosing, 400 billion actions per second. We're doing that. Now that shows up in the brain from the mind, 
okay? So if you have a toxic thought, a negative thought, a destructive thought or memory, and you're thinking, feeling, choosing, thinking, feeling, choosing from that thought, it will create toxic physical branches in your brain. Just like a tree, right? There's branches. There's also a deep root. I'm going to talk to you about how to establish a healthy root so you can start rewiring, taking out these toxic branches in your brain and how to rewire positive branches in your brain. In Mindset University, I encourage everyone in Mindset University, if possible, go get a brain scan in the beginning of the program, in the middle of the program, and in the end of your program, you will see a drastic difference. It, it, it's just like weightlifting. You're on the right weightlifting program. You're on the right nutrition program. You will see body recomposition. You will lose fat. You will gain muscle. You will look good. You will tighten up. There's no way around it. It's the exact same thing. You will heal your brain. Now, what happens when you have toxic branches in your brain? Alzheimer's, disease, depression, anxiety, poverty. Did you know that poverty actually originates in our mind? We choose to take poverty. Oh, but I grew up in poverty. Change it. Change it. You have the power. I'll, I'll show you how. Okay. All right. Now, the ex I'm going to just, I'm, I might read a little bit of this, okay? I really want to give you guys every ounce. The experience that shows up in the brain from the mind creates a reaction in the brain neurochemically, electromagnetically, and genetically, then converts into changes in the brain made of proteins and chemicals. And that's what looks like the trees, okay? Like physically. Okay, I told you about the toxic thought. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, a thought is made up of root memories and branch memories. I want to tell you this. If you had a parent, a spouse, anyone tell you something your whole life, you'll never be enough. You're fat. You're overweight. You're, you're there's a horrible memory coming to my mind about someone I knew, his dad, excuse my language, called him a fat ass his whole life. That grew as a toxic branch in his brain and he believed it. He took it as his own because he dwelled on it and dwelled on it and dwelled on it. What we give attention to grows. So if we're giving attention to toxic branches in our brain, they will grow and grow and grow and grow and disease will happen. There is no way around it because you're destroying your brain. You're destroying your brain. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to change your root thoughts at the deepest level, at the deepest level. So instead of operating where you are, which most of you may not even know, you may not even know because you're just walking around reactive. You're walking around reactive because you've never been taught otherwise, right? So that's what we're going to teach you. Okay. You stretch. All right. So every 63 days is when massive energy changes in the brain. And so if you're thinking about an argument with your spouse, it's only nine weeks. If you're having an argument with your spouse, your brain is becoming more toxic by dwelling on unforgiveness, by dwelling on hurt, by dwelling on frustration and giving it energy. You are hurting your brain physically and it's causing disease. Think about that for a second. We're having an argument with our spouse and we're killing our brain. Oh my God, you guys. Like, if nothing else, this should tell you how important it is to operate in love. This should tell you how important it is to watch over your mind. Watch over what you think on. Watch over what you're saying because it is creating something, which I'll get into. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. What, like I said, what you think on gets bigger and bigger. It becomes the dominating force of how we see things. How we see and perceive things is how we act. It's how we feel. Thoughts lead to feelings. Feelings lead to actions. Actions lead to results. If you think you suck, you will. You will. You will. Because you're telling your brain and you're telling your subconscious how to act. Justify me that I suck. You will. You will fail. You think you will fail, you will. You have already given yourself a 100% fail rate if you believe you fail. If you think you will succeed, you will. No question. If you have a setback, you're like, learn, move on. 
you will succeed. Okay. I'll get into that too <laughs> in a little bit. Okay. The root is your origin story is your origin story. This is why high quality therapists will help you dig deep into your root to understand your origin story, because until you have your origin story, you can't change. You can't actually heal the issue. You'll only be healing the symptom. You'll only be healing the symptom until you know the true root. Lack of money is not a money problem. It's actually a you problem. It's actually a you problem. What you believe, your money blueprint, what you believe you can achieve, it all originates in our mind. We can create any future we want and physically watch it manifest. I have done it a million times. I teach a lot of my clients to do it. We're about to teach them way more, right? Through this program. This is the, the purpose of it. I'm going to tell you why that is. And then I want to tell you some stories that um, I've used this one because it's really exciting. Okay. Now I want to read this. The mind receives a thought. If you choose to take it, that plants a seed in your brain and the roots start to grow, especially if you're thinking on it which is your origin story. So as soon as the mind is planting that thought, planting that seed, that's your origin story. We have the choice to take these thoughts. I'm going to get into that when I get into the spiritual side. I'll, I'll stop because I don't want to tangent. Okay. This is how you are processing the thought and interpreting it. You choose to take it. Then you decide that's your reality and it becomes your reality. Think about how fast thoughts come into our mind. I cannot believe he just did that. Ugh. Toxic thought. Bam. Now you're dwelling on it. You're physically wiring your brain for toxicity and disease and destruction and deterioration. Just that small thing. I can't believe he didn't put the dishes away like that. Ugh. God. Oh my God. You know what else he doesn't do? Ugh. so ridiculous. It's ruining your life and your relationships, but it's, it's really ruining your life. And it's just going to keep compounding over time. So we need to quickly revert that back. Nope. Mm -mm. Compassion, compassion, compassion. I'm not even going to worry about it. What a great opportunity for me to serve. Oh, he put his laundry two inches from the laundry basket. Are you effing kidding me? Don't matter. What a beautiful opportunity to serve. Now we're thinking healthy thoughts. Now we're bringing health into our brain structure. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm going to teach you how to monitor your thoughts what thoughts to take to protect your brain while also teaching you to uproot toxic trees and replace them with healthy branches. Mental health at its finest, ladies. Mental health at its finest, okay? You can't treat the symptom of mental health. You're treating depression with uh, medication? Sweet girl. No, uproot the origin story that's causing the depression or depression will never leave. Ever. We have to heal the root. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. This is so sad. 80% of people will never claim to be truly happy. 80% of people that is, that is just unacceptable. The roots, our origin, the root thought create our fruit. What do I mean by that? You live a happy life. The majority of your roots are probably health and happiness. If you live frustrated every day, you have a lot of toxic roots that you gotta uproot, that you gotta heal, that you gotta fix, that you gotta rewire, that you gotta switch the perspective, switch how you're viewing and thinking and acting, okay? If you do things to try to make yourself happy, you're treating the symptom. You're treating the symptom of unhappiness. Well, I feel like crap today, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna go shopping. I'm going to go to the spa. I'm not saying those things are bad. I'm not saying those things are bad. But you're not doing anything. You're putting a bandaid on the issue. That is what's happening is you're putting a bandaid on the issue. We don't want to do that because we want long-term help, okay? You have to change the roots to change your fruits. You have to change the internal or the unseen to change the external or the seen. Okay. This is... That was the neuroscience foundation. Remember, I have to be pretty basic because of my time, okay? Now, I'm gonna talk to you guys about Jesus. I have to. We have to talk about the spiritual side, okay? 
It's the only way to get to the deepest truth and the deepest root. Otherwise, you're missing a very vital piece, okay? All right. Again, I'm just going to keep referring to my notes because I this is the first time I've taught it and I want to give you all the information. Okay. We have the science behind what happens when we have an uncontrolled thought life. What does the word say now? Science unfolds the truth of the word. Science is amazing. Amazing. But it, it wouldn't be there if the word wasn't there. Science is unfolding the word. Okay. What you think and what you believe is what will happen. Okay. Now, this is why manifestation is becoming a hot topic in the world today because people are recognizing the power of their mind and their and their and their uh, speech. Where do you think things are manifesting from? The dirt, and it magically turns to gold. <laughs> okay. What kind of power is behind that? Right? We manifest things from Jesus. We manifest things from Jesus because, okay, I'm about to just go real deep. So let me just stay on track. Now, what does the word say about our speech? Okay. I'm going to say quite a few scriptures because don't listen to me, you guys. Go do your own study. Okay. I'm just here to teach, give you, give you overviews. Proverbs 18 21, death and life are in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat its fruit. What the heck does that mean? You love death? No. But wait, do you like complaining? Do you like venting? Do you like arguing? Do you like being frustrated? Do you like being angry? Do you like being pissed off all the time? That is loving death. What's the fruit that you reap? A horrible life. An unfulfilled life. A frustrated life. Get out of that. What is life? Death and life are in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat its fruit. What is life? Freedom, love, joy, happiness, extreme prosperity, body, soul, spirit, financially, compassion, wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken, no needs. All your needs are met. That is life. And that is what we have the power to create through our thoughts and through our words. And it's easy, but it takes time. Weightlifting is easy-ish, but it takes time. Same thing, okay? If we speak and believe life, we will reap more and more and more and more life. If we speak and think negativity, we will reap more negativity and destruction. Believe it or not, that's the world we live in. Those are the laws that govern this life. Like we don't make them. Okay. Now, your thoughts and your words can create anything you want. Mansions. Multi-million dollar businesses, the perfect spouse, children, anything you want. You have given the power to create and you can do it if you choose to believe and walk in the ways that govern that result. Same with weightlifting. I want to get strong and fit, but like, I'm not going to listen to that science. I'm going to do cardio. Then you'll reap the benefits of cardio. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Cool. 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 Now. I'm going to go into speaking about the root, okay? If we don't understand who we really are, if we don't accept who we really are, we will be operating from a tainted root. What comes from the root? Everything. Everything. Disease, how you feel, life, health, future. Everything comes from your root. So I want to tell you who you are. We are royal blood in Jesus. You know, there have been stories where homeless people on the street didn't know that there were multi-million dollar heirs to a fortune. They lived their life in poverty and defeat, not knowing what they had. It's the same situation, you guys. We are royal heirs to everything. How do we get it? We learn how to operate in the word. We learn to do, act, and think, and stand on what the word says. Then we reap all the fruit that the Bible says we reap prosperity, tons of money, not because we love money, but because we are commanded to bring God's government down where we are so we can massively bless other people. Who are you helping by being a mouth to feed? I don't mean to say that disrespectfully. I just want us to realize that. Who are we helping by being another mouth to feed? We should be the ones through God's power 
to feed everyone, to give love and life and everything to everyone because we've honed in our internal, recognizing who we are and choosing to stand on the truth, you will reap the results. I've done it and I'll, and I'll show you how. Okay. We are not, I need to remember to smile. This is really exciting. It's just very serious. We are not designed to struggle. We, okay, yeah, we're commanded to bring the blessing down. Extreme prosperity, extreme health, happiness, love, fulfillment, all of that. How do we even do that? Oh my God, like, what are you even talking about? We have to build faith. How do you build faith? By hearing. The Bible says you build faith by hearing the word. You're building faith right now because I'm teaching you the word. You are building faith. Oh, faith, la, 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 la. Mm -mm. Faith is God's currency. Like money is the world's currency. When you have faith in something, you will manifest it. 10 out of 10 times, you will manifest it. Don't quit. Stand on that, that you already have it. Stand on that, that you see it through the eyes of faith. Oh, it's right there. Cool. Oh, I can't like see it in the physical. Don't care. It's coming. You, you have that courageous faith and you stand on it. You will get anything you ask for. Anything. I've asked for the most random things. I'll tell you that. Okay, cool. You have to practice and build this mental resiliency. You're having faith for something and your world crashes around you. I have faith in God. I have faith in God. And my ex-husband cheated on me with multiple women, got one of them pregnant and completely abandoned my four month old and I out of nowhere. I could have done two options. I could have done one. I hate you, God. I cannot believe that. I stand on your word. You know, I do the things. I love you. What the heck just happened? You can do that. Let the devil win. Let him steal who you are. Or you can be like, okay, I'm putting on my big girl pants. I believe that your word. I believe what you say in your word is true. I believe you are good. I believe only good things are from you. I believe that nothing bad is from you. I believe you're going to put me out on top of this situation. Let's go. You will thrive beyond what you knew you could do. He's done that for me. He took me from zero income, zero, zero. I decided to get out of the military to raise my child, rely on my ex-husband's income. He dropped us. Like, I can't remember exactly when, maybe a week after I got my orders to get out of the military. I now run a seven-figure business because of what God has done, because I put faith in him and manifested it. That's it. Because of where my heart is to serve people not to serve self. That, that's something that happens is he has to develop your character because if your character isn't developed and he gives you all these riches and he gives you all this good, you will kill yourself. If your character's not developed and you win the lottery, you're going to spend it on stupid things and become poor again. We have to come to a place that we know that finances is not our source. God is our source. And we are his children. We are queens in his children, which is why my company's name is about to change to Queens of Iron. Because yes, we are queens of iron. We are badasses in the weight room, but we are queens of iron because our character is sharp. Our character is quality. Our character is humble and loving and good and kind. That is a fulfilled life. That is a fulfilled life. We, we really need to practice who we really are. And it's only good. It's only good. Okay. I'm going to just blast a few foundational scriptures that I want to um, talk about in terms of speech and thought life. I'm just going to straight up blast them, okay? Proverbs 35, every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. This world is crazy right now. If we trust in God, we don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be afraid. What's that scripture? 10,000 may fall at my right hand, 1,000 on the other one, but I will not fear. I will not be touched. It's like a shield. Seriously, you guys, it's, it's so physical. It's such a real thing. It's not like, la la, cool. It's like, oh my God, I can have these things. I can stand in these things and I can reap result from these things. Okay. Okay. Matthew 21, 22. If you believe, if you believe you will receive anything you ask for. Case in point. If you believe you will receive anything you ask for. John 16, 23, whatever, whatever you ask of God, he will do. Why? Because you are children of the most high God, of a God that loves you and wants to serve you. You are his dear children. Think about how we serve our children. We love our kids. I've given my kid all his Christmas presents. I have to buy him all new ones because I'm so excited. I'm so excited to give them to him all. God loves us 
far more than we could even fathom, far more than we love our children. Think about that. You're not God's adults. You are God's children. You are God's children, okay? Okay, 1 Peter 2, 9, we are chosen people. We are God's special possession. We are royal blood through Jesus. We have unlimited inheritance, unlimited. Okay, uh, I'm gonna blast through Proverbs 21, or 13, 21, 22, 2 Corinthians 5, 21, Proverbs 11, 25, 3 John 1, 2. We prosper because we are righteous and generous. We prosper when our souls are healthy, mind, it's part of your soul, emotions, right? All that. As we ask and allow the Holy Spirit to reveal the wounds and the toxicity in our heart and allow him to heal our heart, we become well and whole and happy and prosperous, okay? You draw things in that you think on, like I said before, James 4, 8, Proverbs 23, 7. So a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So is he. You think you suck, you suck. You think you're amazing, you're amazing. You decide. You decide. You decide, okay? Get out of that defeat. It's a lie. I don't want to jump ahead of myself. Okay. Yes, so a couple things I said. Um, so in our premier program, I'm going to teach you who you are. I'm going to teach you these truths and how to stand on them, how to think and how to be successful, happy, rich, humbly, very generous. Because when we align ourselves with the Lord, there is no pride. There is no malicious behavior. There is no hate. There's only love and goodness, okay? Now, you get what you say, right, manifestation, I already talked on that. Last scripture, Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goes from my mouth, it shall not return empty, but the purpose I send it out is what I will get. If I send out malicious behavior, if I send out hateful talk, I'll get it back. You will. There's no way around it, okay? You send out good things. You send out positive things. You send out things that you really want. You'll get it. Keep saying it and keep believing it, okay? Okay, you guys. I'm getting there. I'm almost done-ish. <laughs> okay. Now, a couple of notes I said, whether you choose to believe it or not, it's what we get. We create our future through our thoughts, then our words, and then it manifests, and then we live in it. We create our future, and then we live in it. I do it all the time, which is why I say this very humbly. I am living my dream life. Not because of me, I couldn't do this on my own, but because I chose to have faith in God and I chose to apply what the word says and I've reaped what the word says. It's, it's honestly that simple. It, it really is. Okay. A side note, it's a little aggressive. I'm sorry. It's just my personality. I was like, don't believe it. It doesn't matter. You're still subject to it. There's no wisdom against the Lord. It will always fail. So you can choose to make your words work for you or... You can choose to live as a victim of your circumstances, being reactive. We don't want to do that. It's, it's hurtful. I mean, I know you guys all want to be healthy, okay? I know that. I know that. Okay. Now, when we learn what faith is and when we learn how to use it, apply it, to think like God and to act like God, which is only good and only love. And when we learn to actually trust him, which only comes in developing a personal relationship with him, then you are unstoppable. You can do anything you want. I have done this with people who don't even really believe in the Lord. And I have taught them mindset speech therapy, which I will teach you today. They have gotten jobs they have gotten significant others. They have gotten spouses. One guy I was helping not get kicked out of the military. One guy was about to lose his job. We went through mindset speech therapy. Now he's in the clear. Like it is so, so effective. And it's more so when you actually apply faith as well. Your words are still powerful. Even if you don't actually apply it in faith in God, they will still create. They will still create because that's, that's the authority we've been given. We have free will. We are very powerful human beings, you guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you one other thing scripture-wise, and then I'm going to move into a couple of my personal stories, and then just about building mental maps, okay? So now, there's a funny saying, right? Not today, Satan. It's actually a really effective saying. When negative, toxic, destructive, strife, 
uh, any of those thoughts that don't have the purpose of abundance come into your mind, you say, no, mm -mm, that is not me. That is not me. You know, thoughts have come into mind when my, with my son in the car to go crash my car against poles. Thoughts have came into mind trying to kill me. That's not me. I love my life. I love Jesus. I love my clients. I love my family. I love my friends. I love my child. I, I really love my life. Thoughts come into my mind trying to kill me. Why would I ever think that? That's not me. That's the devil trying to steal who I am in God. Because as soon as you know who you are in Christ Jesus, he's powerless. You have control over everything. So he does everything he can. Like in the word, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He does everything in his power to keep you from having a revelation of royalty. Not today, Satan. So when those negative thoughts come in your mind, you say, no, I'm not taking that. That's not me. That's not me. Spiritually, I'll tell you what I say. I say, I rebuke you, devil. You flee from me. You never come back. You flee from me in Jesus' name because there's power in that name. And we have that power, okay? Okay, cool. Yeah, I was like, you want to become a millionaire? You want to have your dream man? You want to have your dream house? You want to have your dream life? Easy peasy. Just align in the word. You want to have your dream body? Easy peasy. Align in macros and weightlifting. It's the same thing, you guys. It's the same thing, okay? Just a different aspect of life. Okay, I'm going to tell you a couple personal stories of me applying this. 2014, I was just learning about faith. I was like, what is this? Thing. I'm like learning about, I'm like, okay, I'm hearing it's effective, but I'm like, what the crap is happening? You know, I was like, well, I'm just going to put it to the test. I love Jesus. I always have. And I was like, I'm just going to put it to the test. 2014. I have everything I'm about to say on paper written in journals forever before it happened. Still to this day, I have it all. Uh, in 2014, I, I think it was a nanny or something like that. I believe I was a nanny in Bend, Oregon. And I was learning faith and I was, I didn't even know I was going into the military yet. And I decided to create this outlandish thing. I was like, I want to work from home. I want to go to the country once a year. I want a $6,000 sign on bonus and I want to make $15,000 a month. And I want to work from home. That was it out of nowhere. I didn't say anything about training, personal training. I didn't say anything about anything, but that was what I wanted. He has far surpassed that in my love of training, fitness and mindset. Like, but I stood on it and I believed it. And I said it over and over. This is what I have. This is what I have. This is what I have. And I, I said it so often that I started to believe it. Now I'm living in it. I created this lifestyle in 2014, not knowing what I was doing, just testing something and look what it has created. It's amazing. It's amazing. My car, I had no money. I was just out of college. I had a uh, orange cobalt, a two-door cobalt, and I really wanted a dark gray SUV. I had in my journal the exact dark gray SUV I wanted. I knew what I wanted. I knew there was no way I could afford it. I had no money, okay? Like I could barely afford rent. And I wanted this car. I think it was maybe three months later, I got that car. I got cash and a car for free. A circumstance happened with an old vet. All this crap happened. My, my cobalt got destroyed. I got so much cash for that. I was perfectly fine. I got so much cash for that, that I was able to buy my SUV and I had thousands of dollars left over. It's no coincidences, you guys, like, come on. Oh my God, let me tell you about my boyfriend. <laughs> this is so funny. Now, we just started dating. If it doesn't work out, fine, okay? But I'm just gonna tell you like what I know right now. October 26th, I think I said it before, but written October 26th, I wrote down, I want twin blonde haired, blue eyed boys. And actually, let me tell you about my other son too. After this, I said, I want twin blonde haired, blue eyed boys. Another thing that I say every day is I say, um, let's see, what do I say? My husband, my three boys, which I only have one son right now that I can see. I believe in my heart. I have my twins. I already have them. I know I have them because I asked for them and I believe that I have them. You'll see, you guys will see. Next time I get pregnant, I will have blonde haired, blue eyed twin boys. I'll tell you right now, everyone watching this, you're going to be like, she told me that. I guarantee it, you guys. I guarantee it 100%. There's no other possible, op there's no other option because of how much I believe it in my heart. Anyway, so I believe for these things. I actually said a lot more. Oh, the birthday thing. I said, um, my husband, three boys, and I have awesome and unforgettable Disneyland trips for their birthdays, and I can take them on a trip of their choice every year for their birthday, and their birthdays are within two weeks apart. My boyfriend's birthday is 12 days after my son's. Like, oh my God. 
He is a blonde haired, blue eyed fraternal twin boy. Just got off active duty military. The most loving, honorable, amazing man I've ever met. His mother is literally goals for me, which like, I'm a freaking powerhouse. I won't lie because of what God made me. That woman, I'm like, I want to be you. I'm like going to cry thinking about it. It is so much more than I asked for. Okay. My lifestyle, my finances, all the things. There was a lot of resiliency that came through it. There, there was a lot of hardship, but you have to stand firm and allow yourself to be developed by the word. You'll get these things. Okay. Now let me talk about my son really quick. Before that child was in my stomach, a month before that child was even in my stomach, I started talking to him. I started talking to him. Hey baby, literally. You think I'm crazy? It's all right. Try it. It'll work. I talked to this child. I told him his skin color. I told him his eye color. I told him how intelligent he is. I told him how athletic he is. I told him how wonderful he is. I talked to him and talked to him and talked to him. That boy is exactly what I said. Exactly what I asked for. You guys, even his height. Okay. You can measure a kid at three years old and usually they're double. I wanted a six, five kid. He's two and a half. He's already going to be six, two. You know that that's taller than anyone in the family that birthed that child on both sides? What? Words, ladies, words, 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 and thoughts and beliefs. It is so unfailing. It's impossible to fail. Okay, moving on. We must build mental maps that create your future. We must build mental maps that create our future to a very specific destiny, okay? We must have specific mental strategies to be able to excel in this world. Otherwise, like I said, it's gonna be reactive. We're gonna be victim to circumstances. We're gonna be pushed down, like so many things, okay? We have to reboot our mind to believe that what we want can happen. We have to turn on our brain, basically. Excuse me. This is what we're doing in Mindset University. This is what we are doing. We are creating mental strategies to pull women out of darkness and into a flourishing life and teaching them the power that they have to create. Your relationships will flourish. Your life will flourish. Everything will flourish. Again, there, there's no... There's no other way. There's no other way. Okay. Oh my gosh, I think that is about it of what I was going to talk about today. Okay. All right, you guys. Please tell me what you thought about that. That was like so different than we've ever taught before. Um, I hope I explained it well. I hope I explained it in a way that was really clear for you to understand. I know for some it might be like, I'm so overwhelmed with information. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Um, but please let me know what you, what you think about that. Okay. Because like, I'm here for you. I'm here to help you guys have transformations. I'm here to bring you into higher quality of life so that I know you can get there because I've gotten there. This is a great description. I was saying last event, do you want to go up the mountain? Let's talk fitness nutrition. Do you want to go up the mountain with someone who hasn't even gone up themselves? They haven't even achieved it themselves, but you're like, you know, with the two of us, like, I think we can get up the mountain. Or do you want to go up the mountain with the person that's gone up and back 50 times, plenty of time, you're taking selfies at the top, good to go, easy peasy, knows the ins and outs, knows when to stop, knows the result, guaranteed result. You want to go with that person, right? Same thing here. I can take you to the other side because I've gone there, not with, not because of my power, but because of Jesus because of what he's taught me and because of what I've applied. And now he's given me the ability to come teach you so I can take you guys to that thriving lifestyle because that's the only way we should live is health and happiness and prosperity and joy and goodness and kindness and just loving our life. Think about where you would be if you just loved your life and loved yourself and had a positive self-image and a loving self-image. How different would your life be? not even comparable, right? Okay. I'm going to teach you about um, mindset speech therapy. This is something I actually created. It's a tool we're going to be using in Mindset University. So mindset speech therapy, MST. 
Mindset speech therapy is a strategic way to program your thoughts and to manifest what you want, okay? Now, pick one thing you want to work on. One thing at a time. Anxiety. Anxiety around money. It's a, it's a thing, right? Our society operates on money, okay? It's just a thing. Money is not evil. It's what you do with it, and it's your view on it. If you love money, that's great, right? We don't want that. Come on. Money is nothing. Money is just a tool, right? So it could be anxiety over lack. It could be that you self-sabotage relationships. It could be binge eating. It could be stress eating. Um, it could be alcoholism. It could be drugs. Whatever. Pick one thing, okay? When thought, so I'm going to break this down really easy. When a thought comes into your mind against what you want, that's when you implement mindset speech therapy, okay? For me, full disclosure, I had to work through a lot of relationship issues. My husband cheated on me, got a chick pregnant, and abandoned me. Dang, that's hurtful. I don't know why I cry every time I talk about it. I'm working on it. Um, but like, that's a lot of crap, right? Then all of a sudden you feel not good enough. You feel like you'll never be good enough. Full disclosure, unknowingly, I believe, my parents told me my whole life why I wasn't good enough to be accepted in different situations. I could have stood on that and I could have lived a defeated lifestyle and all of our clients and all of you guys would be missing out on health and life and goodness and fitness and all of that because I would choose to live in a defeated mindset. No way. Break the chains off. Break the chains off because you are designed and capable of so much more. So, all right. So mindset speech therapy, I would say come up with one to three statements. So giving the example of my personal thing, a man will never love me. Never good enough for a man to love. I believe that. It, it's taken so much work. So some of my mindset speech therapy that I still sometimes have to work through today, you guys, it doesn't mean it's my thoughts. It doesn't mean that it's not healed. It just means that the devil tries to steal my relationship. It's my choice to let that happen or not. It's my choice to take thoughts of failure or to take thoughts of defeat or to not. If you take thoughts of defeat, you will manifest defeat. If you take thoughts of failure, you will manifest failure. Don't take it. Don't take it. Okay. All right. So when the thought comes, which even came yesterday, he doesn't love you. He's going to leave you. My mindset speech therapy is I am loved. I am a child of the most high God. I am far more than enough. That's it. I am loved. I am a child of the most high God. I am far more than enough. That thought is coming in, but no, you're not. Look what your ex-husband did. He left you because of how crappy you are. No, no, I don't take that. Not today, Satan, right? I don't take that. I am loved. I am far more than enough. I am a child of the most high God. But are you kidding? But look at that situation. No, I am loved. I am a child of the most high God. I am more than enough. And you just say it over and 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 over. And it will get into your subconscious so hard because that's what you're putting attention to. You've stopped putting attention to the negative. You're blocking it and now attacking it with this mindset speech therapy. It is so effective. It is so effective. My, this is what I was talking about, that I've helped clients get jobs. I've helped um, some of my soldiers not get kicked out of the military. I helped this other guy not get kicked out of nursing like two weeks ago. It's so effective over and over put sticky notes on your mirror put sticky notes on your cupboard another one you overeat have your mindset speech therapy i always hit my macros i am awesome at nutrition i'm the healthiest i've ever been you're looking in the mirror overweight unhappy and you're saying out your mouth i am healthy i am beautiful i love my life and your mind is being like excuse you what look in the mirror no no, you close your eyes and you say, no, I am healthy. I am prosperous. I am well. I hit my nutrition. I never overeat. I never overeat. Even as you're overeating, say, I never overeat. I never overeat. You will stop. You will stop. It's just a matter of time. 
believe it, believe it, believe it, believe it. Take your mindset speech therapy as your reality, even when your physical reality is showing different. Mm -mm. You take your mindset speech therapy as your reality, okay? <laughs> okay, great, you guys. So that is an actionable I want you guys to do today, okay? Find something you wanna fix and create three mindset speech therapy um, words around it, okay? I'm just checking my notes here. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you for being with me today. This is so exciting. I hope you guys really love it. I hope you really love it. This is such a missing piece, right, in our world. Like, we can't go somewhere that our mind hasn't gone. gone. We have to train our mind and our body at the same time to get the, to get the biggest result. Okay. Where was my other actionable that I had for you, ladies? Okay, I want you guys to try this. For one whole day, I want you to not complain about anything. No complaints. For one day, say nothing negative, nothing toxic. I want you to see, A, how challenging it is without realizing how much we actually complain. And B, I want you to see how you feel at the end of the day. One whole day, okay? And I want you to drop in the group if you did it and what your outcome was. Just one day, just today, not complaining. You're pissed off that your coworker did something? Flip the perspective. Oh, she's such a jerk. I can't believe she treated me like that. No, this is a great opportunity to serve and to show that person love because the, pe the meaner the person is, the more they actually hurt. And I know that's like a thing that people say, but like, oh my God, no, it's true. It is true. The meaner someone is to you, it's because that's how they feel on the inside. It's because that's how they're talking to themselves. So instead of pushing them down further by being offended, mm -mm, repurpose that thought, build healthy branches in your brain and start serving them through love. It's amazing. You can change their life. You can save their life through something simple and you will be honored as well by doing that. You will have a more fulfilled life. Now, it takes humbling yourself because pride, our ego wants to be like, screw you, you're gonna treat me like that, like bye. It's part of the character development is getting out the pride and getting out the ego and instead bringing in humility, learning how to operate on humility, learning how to be who we're designed to be, right? Which is, is so good. It's so free. You can have anything you want. You can have anything you want. Okay, cool. All right, ladies, let me know any questions you have, please. <laughs> Drop any questions you have, okay? All right. So quick, some logistics now. So training is done, okay? So let me know any questions you have. Please let me know how you loved it, how you liked it. If you didn't like it, whatever. Just tell me all the things, okay? I'm, I'm here for the feedback. Okay. Now, we are launching Mindset University, this whole behavioral side, December 10th, okay? Give or take a few days. But I believe I can teach it December 10th. But it's like so dense, right? Everyone in our company gets access to one teaching a month of all of this, of neuroscience, of the word, of how to apply it. We have a premier support program for those who just want more, who don't want to have to make grocery lists, who don't want to have to figure out what to eat, who don't want to have to do anything. They just kind of want a more done for you program. We have that now. Those people get like extra nutrition coaching calls once a month to talk about buying food, eating food, cooking food, like so much support. It, it will take you from zero to a hundred, like in terms of your health and fitness, it's wonderful. But those people also get a mindset university coaching call once a month. Phenomenal. So I'll teach you how to apply, apply, apply. So one call will be teaching and then one call will be application and coaching. It's basically like really strategic group therapy. Honestly, it's, it's awesome. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and you can drop like mindset university. We can talk more about it. I will love to tell you all about it. I love to talk about it. <laughs> okay. It's, it's about creating happy and unstoppable lifestyles in a way that serves you and serves everyone around you and also serves higher purposes to just be more fulfilled, to have more purpose, right? Okay, a couple of notes on Mindset University is designed to physically rewire your brain and rewire your self-image and rewire how you think, feel, and talk to yourself and to others. We'll be uprooting defeat, depression, anxiety, fear, and anything else, and trauma and chaos, and anything that's pulling you out of that thriving lifestyle, we will fix it. 
it will take application on your end, but you will have the tools, you will have the support, and you will have the application to master it, okay? Okay, okay, okay. All right, tomorrow, Jessica and I are gonna go live at nine. Jessica is going to talk a few uh, FAQs, some questions that we've had rolling in. We just want to go ahead and address them because a lot of you guys will probably have them. Um, and then let's see, she's she's basically going to be like, okay, you guys are here. We know you want to get here. And she's just going to help you work through a few mindset shifts basically to help you thrive, okay? I'm going to come on and I'm going to just share a personal story that relates to you guys fitness nutrition mindset wise. And then for those who are interested in enrolling in a program, Mindset University or weightlifting macros, like really 2022, like I'm about to thrive unstoppable. That is what our premier support program does. Okay. Open enrollment will be tomorrow. We will be coming on. We will be talking to you guys. We will also take ladies on one-on-one -on -one calls to just talk through like, what are your specific goals? What do you really want out of your fitness, out of your nutrition, out of your life? How can we personally support you through these programs? Then we can decide, is it a good fit? Can we get you exactly what you want? We can. Fabulous. Let's freaking go. No stopping. Okay. So join us for that. Thank you ladies so much for being here. I hope you have the best day, most wonderful day. You're so wonderful. Be great today. Think positive thoughts today because remember, you actually are so loved. You actually are so good and so pure and so cared for and valued. So anything that tells you different, no, 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 no. Mindset speech therapy. Okay, ladies. All right, have a great day.